feels like pounds kind of lighter more athletic. What's up, everybody? We are live from the grocery store. Your phone seems really smooth. Like the camera? Anyway, we tried to go live. Didn't work out. So there's not much service in the back of the store. So we're going to try again. We got. We were able to pick up some products, it looks like. So what we want to do, guys, when you first come into the grocery stores, we talked about shopping the periphery of the grocery store, right? Periphery is just your external portion ring of a store. So it always starts in the healthy foods, basically fresh vegetables, fresh uh, fruits, things like that. So here, I've got two essentials, you know, high fiber fruits, perfect to pick up, blueberries, strawberries, you know, low glycemic fruits, put it in the cart. Let's talk about problems. A lot of people have problems when they're eating a lot uh, to be able to handle what they're, you know, putting in their bodies. Pineapples. Now, first of all, be really careful because a mango looks just like a pineapple when it's cut up too much. So make sure it's just pineapple, but this is really good for digestion. Also, a lot of people use avocados when I work with them. Um, not right, right. Look for that greenish, brownish shade. It's the best thing in the world. Hey, Brandon, can you hand me a bag of those grapes? Some people have awful sweet tooths, like I do. Um, take these, free these in the, freeze them in the freezer, have like five at a time. It's actually a really good way to kind of kill that craving and uh, it's kind of delicious. Next section, this is a really important section, are your herbs. You know, you do want to cook with herbs. Uh, you know, essentially that's a nice, good, easy, low sodium way to be able to flavor your food. Uh, I personally do like using, you know, rosemary, specifically on chicken. Thyme on chicken, you know, they actually have a poultry blend here in Safeway. It's pretty good stuff. Bay leaves, believe it or not, I like to toss in rice. It actually gives it a really good taste. Uh, and of course, you got your dill and your different types of pastes and things like that. Right here, cucumber. Another thing, Gabe was just talking about digestion. Cucumber is another good thing that's going to be able to help you digest your foods. Excellent addition to our cart. Don't be fooled by dumb things that say no sugar added. If you look in the back of this, it's got like 55 grams of sugar per one container. So no sugar extra added, still a lot of sugar in there. And now we're moving. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, so now we're moving on down here. Great additions as well. Squashes, zucchinis, right? Squash, great options to have at home. Uh, I like to use a spiralizer and I'll actually make noodles out of these guys. So definitely something that we want to pick up, add to our cart. Another thing that we want to cook with to add flavor to our foods, peppers. Red peppers, green peppers are my favorite, and yellow peppers are my favorite. Well, pepper down, okay? Another great addition to add to your cart for flavor. It's also gonna give volume to your food, right? Okay, another thing that we're looking at is kale, all right? Kale is rich in vitamin K. It's one of the best vegetables that you can put into your body. It's got a lot of fiber, vitamin K, and it's also very versatile. You can put it in your shakes, you can roast it, you can make soups with it. Great addition to our cart, all right? Also, broccoli, fresh broccoli, all right? Comes just like this, all right? You can steam it, cook broccoli a thousand different ways. It's going to be a nice high fiber option, going to add volume to your meals. It's also going to give you a bunch of rich vitamins and nutrients. Another addition to our cart. I have absolutely no idea what this is. <laughs> Apparently it's called a dragon fruit. So we're going to turn to Raquel. Just explain to me what a dragon fruit is. I don't know if it's good for your bath or your what. I'm assuming it's going to be good for you. Um, you know it's ripe if you can feel it. It's just kind of like an avocado. You're going to slice it in half, open it up. There's a lot of antioxidants in it, so I'd say yes. I'm guessing it's in the pomegranate. <laughs> Folks, uh, one thing, using peppers. Peppers are good for you. Um, it's a good way to add flavor to your food. I personally cook and like my food kind of spicy, so I use a lot of suriano chilies, a lot of jalapenos in my food. What you got here? Uh, mushrooms, another great thing to add. Uh, volume, unless you're volume, allergic. Unless you're allergic. But another great thing to add volume to your foods. Uh, great breakfast. Don't pick them out of your backyard. They could kill you. Good. Don't pick the ones out back. But another great thing that you can add, uh, you can also use these brown portobellas and you can create a nice vegetarian dish. Another great addition to your cart. 
Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are a mainstay in my house. Real easy, roast them, all right? Ton of fiber, great vitamin content. It's definitely something that you want to pick up, put in your cart. Let's go visit the, the juice section. Okay. I would never recommend juice. Too much sugar. I would never recommend juice. <laughs> Too much sugar, to be honest with you. A lot of times, a lot of these companies are trying to trick you into thinking everything's very, very healthy. Like Gabe has said before, hey, make sure you read the labels on all this stuff. Um, I would actually rather you eat an apple than drink apple juice, because essentially you're eating 20 apples at once. I will say this. I have no idea what this is, but I bet it's a ton of sugar. 48 grams of sugar. Like, might as well drink a Mountain Dew. Right. So here's a good one. Actually, treat yourself to Mountain Dew instead of that. Here's an example. You probably have seen these commercials all the time um, about the benefits of eating pomegranates and drinking pomegranate juice. If you look at the back of it, it's 37 grams of sugar in one serving. There's two servings in here. So I don't know if many people are just going to take a shot of this. You're probably going to sit there at your desk and drink the whole thing. Let's go talk about potatoes. America's favorite pastime. Chances are, if you're doing a diet with us, you probably want a lot of sweet potatoes. We use other type of potatoes, but there's many different variations in each type of potato themselves. Like potatoes got a sweet potato got four of them. So when you come in here, look through these, talk to your trainers. If you're confused about what it is, you know, really ask them questions. Because if you just come here and pick some stuff up, it could be really confusing. Very confusing. Typically, your better potatoes for you to choose. You, know, you want to stay away from your russets. Nine times out of ten, if you're working with any trainer, you're going to be seeing either sweet potatoes or you're going to be seeing red potatoes. Um, some trainers have even put purple potatoes on there because of the which are variations of sweet potatoes. Right. So, which are variations of sweet potatoes. So you know they're all the same thing. So talk to your trainer, get a little bit more insight on them. But uh, sweets and reds can't go wrong. No. <laughs> Period. Artificial now, meat. Things like this, you know, there's ways to work. There's ways to work these things in. But again, we're looking at a ton of sodium, ton of salt. No. Stay away from the processed meats. If it doesn't have to be refrigerated, you probably shouldn't need it. So guys, it's really easy to get a lot of frozen stuff, but try and buy fresh. Fresh is usually always better. Um, if you can't help it and you have something in there that you really need it's frozen, yeah, it's okay. But like I said, try to really shoot for fresh foods. So one of the things you want to avoid when buying fish, especially salmon. A lot of times you'll see salmon, it's farm raised. What you really want is wild caught salmon. It's going to be more expensive because there's no color added. It says really close, fine print. Read it. It'll say farm product. All right, we want wild caught. What is a catfish? So here's the wild product. So Brandon just had made a very good point. See the color in this wild salmon versus the farm salmon? Can you guys make out the color on the video? Okay. Big difference. Huge difference. This just doesn't even look healthy. It looks dead. This at least has some color to it. It looks a little bit more viable. And don't eat tilapia. It's a whole other part. It's poop fish. <laughs> I, I think they should. There's a disagree with that. Fresh meats, fresh reds. We're always going to recommend a leaner cut of red meat. Uh, so, you know, you're looking at your sirloin steak is always a great option. It's a little bit less expensive than your other steaks. Uh, you know, on the broil, things like that. You can see the marbleization in the, in the meat. It's not very, you know, white. White is fat. So what we want to look for is we want to look for something like the sirloins. Always pick up a pound or two of sirloin. It's a great, great, great option to uh, make sure that you have a little bit of that good red meat in there, healthy iron levels, things like that. Favorite snack? <laughs> On the spot? 
Animal crackers. You know why? Because um, they're low in fat and they don't have crazy kind of carbs. And they actually have some protein in them. So there's animal crackers. Not the, the, the stupid carnival looking ones, but the ones that come in the bag. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you, I don't really snack. That's why I'm having Liar. No, I don't. Put bangs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I may drink energy drinks. Those are bad for you, but I don't. Peanut butter on celery. Oh, Okay, so now we're gonna go down one of America's favorite aisles. The cereal aisle. This is my favorite aisle. Because believe it or not, when we say oatmeal, we're not really talking about this crap. But you guys go and buy this stuff anyway. Right. Um, that's this this yeah, John's got it. This I, is this is what we Breakfast want. for every day. <laughs> Another great option, guys, right here. Brandon eats snacks for breakfast. Uh cream or cream <laughs> rice. Cream rice tastes tastes a lot like grits and even regular grits are a great option. But again, we need you guys to measure and weigh it out. But when we're talking oatmeal, we're not talking this ready stuff. Now right here, this, that's okay, because it says original, right? But what we want you guys to buy- Yeah, don't be eating this dinosaur eggs. Right, no dinosaur eggs or anything like that. You're we not want you guys right four here, years old. Right? And then you're gonna sweeten that with cinnamon or stevia. How do you and that's gonna be a breakfast option. How do you feel about a V8 as a replacement for vegetables? I've heard a lot of people say that they, I had my V8 serving today. Nothing is a replacement for eating real food, guys. All right, at the end of the day, we're looking at a thou we're looking at 140 milligrams of sodium per eight fluid ounces. We're looking at a lot of sodium. Yes, they have lower sodium versions of them, but again, guys, this isn't going to provide your body with any type of satiety. Your body doesn't need to break anything down, so it's just going to eat. You're just going to drink it. It's just going to go right through. You're going to be like, I'm hungry. They have to put all these extra ingredients so they don't have to refrigerate anything, keep everything fresh for a longer period of time. So I had a question that I had asked Gabe yesterday. Um, I was helping somebody with a meal plan, and my, my I guess my encyclopedia of breakfast foods kind of went short. And I had asked uh, Gabe if he knew any really good cereals that people eat. Because I know a lot of people grew up eating cereal. Um, you know, some sort of a cereal that's healthy, uh, complex carbs, things like that. I couldn't think of one. What'd you, what'd you come up with? I said all of them. I mean, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm saying, you what? actually can take cereal and, and use uh, egg whites and actually have a better nutritional meal. Then you could put some protein inside the egg white to shake it up before you pour it over that cereal. Tastes and now you good. have a nutrient dense meal. But kind of the better cereals, you're looking at your mini wheats, you're looking at your special K, you're looking at anything that has more protein, less fats, and the sugars, when you, when you really pay attention to a cereal, look at the difference between the sugars and the carbs, because there's a difference there. Um, try and find something that has more carbs than it has sugars. And uh, what I mean by that is, that the carbs is the overall thing there. The sugar is just that minor, small piece of it, kind of like a piece of a puzzle. So less sugar, higher carbs, that's okay. Yes! This is not breakfast. Dang it! This is not breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is my shopping area right here. Right, right. Oh, this is awesome. I will admit, having an eight-year-old, these have gotten me in a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. Guys, Kashi, Kashi makes a great cereal. They make a great product. Again, though, make sure you, that you're not going too crazy. Read your nutritional label. Another good one, believe it or not, is the original fiber ones. All right, plenty of fiber, as the name suggests. But again, like Gabe said, something that you could do would be to mix up a protein shake, pour in a half a cup or a cup of this. Now all of a sudden we've got a nice, good carbohydrate dense breakfast. This is gonna be equivalent to a half cup, one cup of oatmeal, right? And you pour over your protein shake, you got yourself a good nutrient dense breakfast. They even got sippy bowls for your protein shakes. That's legit. Actually, I actually think I have to use that now. <laughs> um, do not get concerned with granola. Remember, because I mean, get concerned with granola. Excuse me. Don't just think it's healthy because it's granola. Uh, There's yeah. a lot of fat in these. Okay. Looks great, right? And a quarter cup. It's 130 calories. When's the last time you Dang. poured a quarter cup or something? But exactly. You mix that with stuff, e too. That's dark chocolate hazelnut heaven. I know. Dark chocolate hazelnut heaven. At the moment you pour one cup of this, you yeah. just screwed your entire morning. My snack is this with ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> That's my new snack. Don't tell Eric. Just, just point at this and say no. No. Just avoid this. Don't no. <laughs> Absolutely. Say yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna say no, but he doesn't I, want to. Very little in this aisle that you're gonna need or but want. But this one's a fruit. John, you need help. 
Uh, there's, there's coffee and tea down there. That's about the only thing on this Alex probably. Apple sauce isn't actually that bad, to be honest. Apple Especially sauce. when you're talking about like an intra meal, something that you really haven't eaten enough of, and you need something quick on the go before you start your lift. That's actually a good choice. Um, but when we're looking at things like this, again, we want to be reminded of the sugar. So 18 grams of sugar in this one little tiny fruity cup. You shouldn't have any more than 30 a day. Yeah. What is it? 21 grams in a cup of soda. So, there you go. the orange. Like, we should now come in here hungry. I just read that. Serious. Oh, I love goldfish. Goldfish? Oh, God. Goldfish is good. Big goldfish. Big goldfish. Oh, they have sriracha Cheez-Its now? Probably my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I got them all coming back. Look at I this. love these. Everyone likes sriracha. Yeah, you, no. You can cut this out, right? Gotta, is that two for one? Yeah, man. You, you gotta, gotta edit this. this. <laughs> you gotta edit this. I'm not editing anything. I'm not even gonna lie. You can right. that one. No. Uh, this one. Gatorade. No. Gatorade or junk, H2O? Junk, 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 junk. Pretty and jump. This too. Um, not a great option, guys. How much sugar is in the back of that? You got 22 grams of sugar. Not a great it's option. A protein guys. shake. Most protein shakes really don't even have any sugar. The, the healthier ones. Not a great option. Definitely not a great option. Buy a powder, mix it up. Hey, what about those Gatorade energy shoes? AKA gummy Yeah, there's sugar in those too. <laughs> yep, that's all they are. It's gummy bears. Pretty much. They're gummy bears. They probably have. And they're expensive. Them, that's about it. Dollar thirty. That's not gonna do anything for you. Nope. <laughs> so, I love how you just have to zoom in on my face because you just want to see what I'm thinking right now. Everyone can read what you're thinking. Yeah, I know it's pretty bad. Mainstay. Get your water in, guys. Buy a case. Keep it in your car. Don't keep it in your car. Don't keep it in Don't your car. Don't keep it in your car. It's a bad idea. Sorry, Eric. Bad idea. I disagree, Carcinogen. I disagree with Sun, exactly where Sun you're going. through the plastic, brother. Well, I disagree with where you're going. Uh, we'll have a debate on that later. Yeah, and it's cold outside. You can leave it in your car. It has nothing to do with cold. It's everything to do with sun rays. Right, Put it in your trunk. What do you guys think about the flavored drinks that are like low calorie? Ice drinks and so forth. Me personally, I'm okay with it if you're the type of person who's trying to wean yourself off of drinking sodas, diet sodas, stuff like that. But just know it is going to have some artificial sweeteners in there, which may cause you to hold some water. But I'm this okay. is one of my favorite options to wear if you're really hungry. Sparkling water, right? Get the carbonation down in your stomach, let it bubble up a little bit, and it's definitely a good way to curb some. Eric's not wrong about that. Carbonation is a great way to kind of treat your hunger, especially if you guys are finding yourself you have an urge, not necessarily for something specific, but just to eat. Some people use diet sodas for those too. I would tell some of my clients that were addicted to carbonation, drink one of those club sodas and add like a Mio to it or something. Yeah. It's better than all that sugar. Oh, they got vanilla? Me and Eric are slightly addicted to these. I know you're a man, but... The worst part is I'm filming it the wrong way too. I know you are. Why are you not filming it? I choked. I choked. From the beginning? From the beginning. I love this. I'm like, the buys. Yeah. But I'm not a quitter, so I left it like this. Alright, we don't need to buy anybody any cards. <laughs> My birthday just happened. You didn't give me one. Oh, did it? No. I'm sorry. It was Gabe's birthday. And he treated himself with a cheesecake flavored protein bar. No, I did not. You gave it to me. Because <laughs> right. we only eat healthy. Alright, alright, alright. Eggs. Eggs, eggs, eggs. Uh, so. Put this somewhere. <laughs> all right. Egg whites. All right. Buy them by the carton. You're always gonna want these and need these. Now, a while ago, somebody placed a question to me: What's better, the free range eggs, slash organic eggs, or these? What's the difference? The difference is, guys, when you go home and you crack open the yolk of an egg, the yolk of an egg is supposed to be a nice, hearty, deep yellow color. It's almost almost like an orange, right? It shouldn't be yellow, all right? That's a sign of a nice, healthy egg. When you look at these and you crack these open, these are almost like a pure yellow, right? So what you want to do is you do want to opt for these uh, range-free 
you know, organic eggs. I gotta beat it. I gotta do it. So why not the cage tree? Why, why is the cage tree not the same thing? Because cage tree doesn't necessarily mean that the chickens were out doing their thing. That's exactly right. Okay. Cage tree just means that they're not constricted. Right. It means that they're in a box, and maybe with a bunch of other chickens, they're not tied down. They're not that, tied down. That's still not free range. This is the better one of choice. They get to actually roam, move around. They can be a chicken. Right? It's not any... It's much more humane. So, what's, if somebody was just trying to save money and they just really couldn't afford free range eggs, do you hate the choice of this egg? No. I don't hate the choice of the egg. However, there is a better option. And a lot of times you'll find some options that have omega 3s in there and, or they'll boost it. Look at those options because even if you have to buy it cheaper and you can't buy the free range, that's a better choice. What eggs do you buy, Brandon? It's cheap ones. It's like a, <laughs> I get the organic ones as well. For my coffee addicts out there, specifically iced coffee addicts, this is a mainstay in my house. All right, this is a great little option. It's gonna save you a ton of money as opposed to going to Starbucks, right? Unsweetened, just straight black coffee, and it is really, really good. <laughs> All right, guys, milk. Milk. The milk that we use in my house. It's unsweetened vanilla cashew milk. It's got a little bit more viscosity than almond milk. It actually tastes a little bit better in my opinion. Okay? But another great option that an almond be, breeze man myself. Would be almond milk nut juice. Right? Not to be confused with nut juice. But again, what you want to make sure is that you're buying unsweetened, right? Buy unsweetened. So check it. A cup of un a cup of cashew milk or almond milk that's unsweetened is gonna be about 25-30 calories, not 60 or 90. Yeah. So one Notice we all just walked right by the dairy milk. Stay away. Yep. So this is probably my least favorite section of the store. Let me keep this serious. Stay out of it. Look all that. Nothing, nothing good's gonna happen up there. Nothing good. Right. Okay. Nothing good to your body. It tastes good. That's right. Dave, let's take Gabe's getting hungry. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry too. I'm so sorry. You got a rookie driver. <laughs> Wasn't me. He's a big fan of Foggy. <laughs> Shut up. All right. Great options here, guys. Foggy. <laughs> Is one of the best yogurts out there. All right, ton of prebiotics, probiotics, great. Uh, I personally like to go for the one with a little bit of fat in it as opposed to the uh, fat-free. Anything that's fat-free has sugar pumped into it in order to change the flavor profile. Of it. So I always want to go with a little bit of 2%, a little bit of fat in it, it's gonna be great for me. This is what I tell all my clients to get. It's Greek yogurt, first off, it's healthier for you, but it's also got probiotics in there for digestion because a lot of people don't have what's required to eat and actually digest their food. So this will help out a lot. So I've had a couple clients who I've given uh, Greek yogurt to on their diets and they just don't like it for whatever reason. So another thing you can do is cottage cheese. Um, I usually will have them add some berries or some of that to them. If you do do butter, all right, because I don't know your opinion, butter is good. Butter, regular fat butter is good, all right? It's when we get into this stuff that we start getting dangerous. So we're looking at dangerous. dangerous? Grass-fed butter, okay? I personally am not a big fan of butter in the first place. Grass-fed butter, you're fine. Show me an argument against it. I don't it. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Notice we're passing right past the cheese. Also, no, no, just okay. unnecessary fats. Wait a minute. Where's the frozen section? We missed it. That's very much. So you them. can't have ice cream. No, I was going to show them the, the, the popsicles. The 10 calorie popsicles that saved me. So when you kill eat myself. 40 of them, you 
don't even know that though. <laughs> don't eat 40 popsicles. <laughs> it comes in, in twos. <laughs> Just eat two. And then Good points to make right here, guys. Peanut butters. Everyone's favorite food. One of the mainstays in pretty much every American's diet. No. This is not peanut butter. That's not peanut butter. Even though Brandon eats all the time. I've never had it. You right. never had Nutella? I've never had Nutella. What we're looking for, guys, is we're it's looking. Awesome. What we're looking for, guys, is we're looking for a natural peanut butter. Um, personally, I think Smuckers does a good job. And if you really do want natural peanut butter, you're going to notice the oil separation at the top, which basically means it's all that's in here is peanuts, right? So if you want to buy something like that, it's better for you. It's not going to have any additives to it. Um, you know, even with your Jif Naturals. Right, it's got sugar and palm oil and other things added to it. Right, this literally is nothing more than peanuts. You can do almond butter as well. That's a good one. Can't believe no, it. That's enough. That's enough. No, I can't believe you never had Nutella. I've never had Nutella. I've never had Nutella. Are you serious? Yeah. Okay. This is this is a bit misconception that a lot of people think. I love potato bread, and everybody's like, "Oh, it's got to be so bad for you." If you actually go and look at some bread. In a store, you'll, you'll actually see that most breads have a fat content. Potato bread usually never does. It also has a little more protein. So, I mean, why cheat yourself? Just look at labels, guys. One thing you won't see in a Safeway, but you may see in other stores like well, the like men's, section, so we can't sit. Yeah, yeah. Right. in the freezer section, they'll have something called Ezekiel bread. It's a lot denser. It's got added protein. Usually per slice, it's like 14 grams of protein, I think, or maybe 12. But um, they also came out with muffins as well. So if you're a person who likes those English muffins in the morning, um, that's a better choice for you as well. Half of one. Half of one. Not the whole thing. Take them to the freezer aisle anyway. Everyone's favorite foods. All right, we're heading to the freezer section, guys. Everyone's favorite foods are in here. Waffles. This is where ice cream. Let's be honest. This is where most of America lives. Okay, heat meat type stuff. So what we want to do is we pretty much want to avoid these type things, guys, because it's got a lot of additives in it. Yes, it takes a little bit longer to cook fresh. However, you're going to appreciate it. So is your waistline, especially your fruit. Don't buy frozen. I mean, I get it. If you're making like a shake or something like that, and you're, you're blending things together, okay. But if, if you're trying to eat it in the morning, buy fresh. So Brandon. hold on. Every, every freaking day. Gabe's not going to be in a bus just now. Let's see if they have If you have a big enough. mean sweet tooth, and you just know later at night you want something, these have, well, no, not those. Oh, my. <laughs> those. It's like, that's how you know you have a child. Exactly. Um, these aren't bad. They're usually around 10, I think, 15 calories per pop. Just don't eat 50 of them. Just have one. Just have two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. All right. That's... No. <laughs> it does look good. Pizza is my favorite. Guys, real quick. If you want pizza, have pizza. But here's the best part. Make it, find a recipe, use oatmeal, use honey in the crust, pull it together. Use, yeah, like use so many different options to make it healthier. You don't have to buy frozen. Yeah, it might take a little longer, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, but it's not DiGiorno. But it's DiGiorno? No. no. All right, guys, right here. Make it quick and easy on you guys. Frozen vegetables. Something that you can toss in the microwave and steam real quick. They're not that bad if they're flash frozen. Um, great option to put that in to be able to make a quick, nice, healthy dinner. All right. I live. I lived off this bag. It wasn't this one particular. Five bucks. Big bag of vegetables. I just left it in the freezer. You can microwave it. it cooks really easy. You know what? Real quick. Believe it or not, a lot of people will tell you beef jerky is bad for you. It really isn't. It's actually a pretty good snack. It's just got a ton of sodium, so you have to be very aware of that. But if you're looking to munch on something that's high in protein, low in carbs, um, beef jerky is not bad for you. Thanks for tuning in. Um, you wouldn't eat anything down that aisle. No, and you definitely don't want to have that. I mean, you could definitely eat that and shit it out. That's where it belongs. But in the long run, uh, if you guys have any questions, 
ask us about things. Just stop looking at Redskins stuff. What's wrong with you? They just got beat. Good. Nah, I'm just done now. I'm done now. He's a Cowboys fan. Plug so um, you can find us at, I do this every week, what, the fit forecast the fit. at gmail.com. Um, where are we on Twitter? We're on Twitter. Fit forecast on Twitter, the fit forecast on Instagram, <laughs> fit forecast on Facebook. Sorry we couldn't go live today. We just didn't have much service in here, but we got our video for you. So we'll be live next week. Tune in around probably Wednesday. We'll let you guys know. But thanks for following. Say no to cookie dough and give it to your trainer.